Did you know that the moon holds more mysteries than we can imagine? That beneath its dusty surface there could be hidden clues to the origin of life, the history of the solar system, and even the future of humanity. That's right, the moon is not just a barren rock orbiting our planet. It's a treasure trove of scientific discoveries waiting to be explored. And that's exactly what India's Chandrayaan-3 mission is doing right now. Chandrayaan-3 is India's third lunar mission. It was launched on July 14, 2023, from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh, India. The spacecraft consists of a lander and a rover, named Vikram and Pragyan, respectively, that are designed to explore the lunar south pole region. In this video, we will reveal some of the untold facts behind Chandrayaan-3 mission that will make you wonder about the possibilities of what lies ahead. We will also tell you why this mission is such a game-changer for humanity and how it could revolutionize our understanding of the moon and our place in the universe. First, let's talk about the landing site on moon, which is unique. The landing site of Chandrayaan-3 is located between two craters, Manzinus C and Simpelius N, near the south pole of the moon. This region is of great interest to scientists because it has permanently shadowed areas that could contain ice and other substances. These substances could be used as resources for future human missions to the moon and beyond. But how does Chandrayaan-3 get to the moon? Moon. Well, it's not a straight shot. The spacecraft has to perform a series of complex maneuvers to reach its destination. After launching from Sriharikota, Chandrayaan-3 enters an elliptical orbit around Earth, with a closest point, perigee, of about 170 kilometers and a farthest point, apogee, of about 36,500 kilometers. The spacecraft then gradually increases its apogee by firing its engines at each perigee until it reaches a distance of about 100,000 kilometers from Earth. This process takes about 16 days. At this point, Chandrayaan-3 is ready for a crucial maneuver called translunar injection. This is when the spacecraft uses a slingshot technique to escape Earth's gravity and enter a trajectory towards the moon. A slingshot technique is when a spacecraft uses the gravity of a planet or a moon to change its speed and direction. In this case, Chandrayaan-3 fires its engines at a precise moment and angle to get flung towards the moon by Earth's gravity. After leaving Earth's orbit, Chandrayaan-3 travels for about five days in a curved path called Lunar Transfer Trajectory. During this time, the spacecraft adjusts its course and speed to align with the moon's orbit. When it reaches close to the moon, Chandrayaan-3 performs another crucial maneuver called Lunar Orbit Insertion. This is when the spacecraft fires its engines again to slow down and get captured by the moon's gravity. Once in lunar orbit, Chandrayaan-3 circles the moon for about four days in an elliptical orbit of about 100 kilometers altitude. The spacecraft then separates into two parts, the propulsion module and the lander module. The propulsion module stays in orbit and acts as a communication relay between the lander and Earth. The lander module carries the rover inside it and prepares for landing. The lander module performs a series of maneuvers to reduce its altitude and speed, using four throttleable engines. It also uses sensors and cameras to avoid hazards and select a suitable landing site. Finally, it touches down softly on the lunar surface near the South Pole, deploying its legs and solar panel. The rover, which is a six-wheeled robotic vehicle, then comes out of the lander and starts exploring the lunar terrain. This is how Chandrayaan-3 reaches the moon and achieves a historic landing. So what makes Chandrayaan-3 so special and different from other lunar... Well, there are several reasons why this mission is groundbreaking and unprecedented in many ways. One of the most remarkable aspects of Chandrayaan-3 is its low cost compared to other moon missions from NASA. The total budget of this mission is only $91 million, which is a fraction of what NASA spends on its lunar exploration programs. For instance, NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon by the end of the decade, is estimated to cost $93 billion by 2025. Even NASA's previous robotic missions to the moon, such as Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, 
and Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer cost about $500 million and $280 million, respectively. So how did India manage to achieve such a low-cost lunar mission? There are several factors that contribute to this feat, such as reuse of components and technologies from Chandrayaan-2. Chandrayaan-3 reuses some of the hardware and software from Chandrayaan-2, such as the lander and rover design, as well as some of the scientific instruments. This reduces the development time and cost of the mission, as well as the risk of failure. Simplified Mission Design Chandrayaan-3 does not have an orbiter like Chandrayaan-2, but relies on a propulsion module to carry the lander and rover to lunar orbit. The propulsion module also acts as a communication relay satellite between the lander and Earth. This simplifies the mission design and reduces the mass and complexity of the spacecraft. Chandrayaan-3 is largely developed indigenously by ISRO, with minimal reliance on foreign components or services. This reduces the dependency on external factors and allows ISRO to optimize the mission according to its own requirements and capabilities. Innovation. Chandrayaan-3 demonstrates ISRO's ability to innovate with limited resources and achieve more with less. ISRO uses cost-effective methods and materials to design and build its spacecraft, such as using commercial off-the-shelf components, employing modular design, and performing rigorous testing and simulation. These factors show how India has mastered the art of innovation and achieved a low-cost lunar mission that could pave the way for future exploration and discovery. Chandrayaan-3 is one of the most ambitious lunar missions ever attempted. It aims to explore one of the most challenging and unexplored regions of the Moon, the South Pole. The South Pole of the Moon is extremely cold and dark, with temperatures ranging from minus 150 degrees Celsius to minus 250 degrees Celsius. It also has rugged terrain with craters, hills, valleys, and cliffs. Landing on such a region requires precise navigation and control systems, as well as robust thermal protection system. Andrian 3 is one of the most scientific lunar missions ever conducted. It carries four science payloads on board the lander and two on board the rover that will perform various experiments and measurements on the lunar surface. These include radio anatomy of moonbound, hypersensitive ionosphere and atmosphere, RAMBA. This instrument will study the plasma environment and the ionosphere of the moon using a quadrupole mass spectrometer and a Langmuir probe. Chandra's surface, thermophysical experiment, CHASTE. This instrument will measure the thermal conductivity and temperature gradient of the lunar regolith using a thermal probe. Instrument for Lunar Seismic Activity, ILSA. This instrument will detect and record seismic events on the Moon using a three-axis seismometer. Laser Retro Reflector Array, LRA. This instrument will reflect laser signals from orbiting spacecraft or Earth-based observatories to measure the distance and position of the lander. Alpha Particle X-ray, Spectrometer, APXS. This instrument will analyze the elemental composition of the lunar rocks and soil using alpha particles and X-rays. Laser-Induced Breakdown Spectroscope, LIBS. This instrument will analyze the elemental composition of the lunar rocks and soil using a laser These instruments will help us answer some of the fundamental questions about the moon, such as how did the moon form and evolve over time? What is the origin and distribution of water and other volatiles on the moon? What are the geophysical and geological processes that shape the lunar surface? What are the potential resources and hazards for future human exploration of the moon? But that's not all. Chandrayaan-3 also has a surprise payload that no one expected. It's called SHAPE, which stands for Spectropolarimetry of Habitable Planet Earth. This payload is mounted on the propulsion module, and it has a very special purpose to observe Earth from lunar orbit. SHAPE is a novel experiment that aims to study the polarization of sunlight reflected by Earth's atmosphere, clouds, oceans, and land.
Polarization is a property of light that describes how its electric field oscillates in different directions. By measuring the polarization of Earth's reflected light, shape can reveal information about Earth's atmospheric composition, cloud cover, surface features, and even signs of life. Why is this important? Well, because it can help us understand how to detect habitable planets around other stars. By observing Earth as an exoplanet, shape can provide a reference point for future missions that will search for biosignatures in distant worlds. Shape can also help us improve our models of Earth's climate and weather by providing global data on cloud properties, aerosols, and surface albedo. Shape is a collaboration between ISRO and several international institutions, such as NASA, ESA, JAXA, CNS, and IAC. It is also supported by several Indian universities and research centers. SHAPE is one of the first experiments to use spectropolarimetry for planetary science, and it could open up new avenues for exploration and discovery. So as you can see, Chandrayaan-3 is not just another lunar mission. It is a mission that pushes the boundaries of science, technology, and innovation. It is a mission that showcases India's prowess in space exploration and its contribution to global knowledge. And it is a mission that could change our perception of the moon and our place in the cosmos. But what do you think? Are you excited about Chandrayaan-3? What secrets do you think it will uncover? And what do you think are the implications of this mission for humanity? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new videos.